Hello again. Welcome back for the last part of our bee story. So, the hive was on the far side of a piece of farmland. It was high up in a tree and was very safe and secure. Or so the bees thought. They deliberately built it there to be out of people's reach. Anyone who climbed the tree got stung. Everything seemed excellent, but it only seemed excellent. The bees didn't have the full story. Far away from the hive, discussion was taking place. So, do we build this new road around the edge of the woods, or do we take the road straight through the middle? Two men scratched their beards, looked at the woods, looked at the army of diggers, cement mixers and steamrollers backed up behind them. Let's go through the middle. The other man nodded, and the decision was made. The hive's destiny was set. The following morning, the bees were awoken by the sound of banging and crashing. The hive began to sway from side to side and panic erupted. The bees flew to the edge of the hive and looked out, and there, trundling towards them, was the biggest pile of machinery they'd ever seen. Trees fell in its path, birds were flying, animals were running. The bees had less than two minutes before the huge vehicle squashed their tree, their hive, and possibly them. And then, almost as one, they stopped panicking and stood still. They began to think. The queen is the future of the hive. If she survived, there'd be more bees and more hives. If she died, it was all over. Bellamy shouted above the machines, Get the queen! Several worker bees went to the centre of the hive and began to bring the queen to the surface, but there was barely enough time left. The machines were already upon them. Bellamy jumped from the hive and flew towards the vehicles. Other bees followed his example. A swarm of bees descended on the machines. The drivers were being stung, but they were fighting back. First one bee was swatted, and then another, and then another. Bees were being killed all around Bellamy, but he still flew in and stung again and again. He wouldn't let up. He was determined to make enough time for the Queen to escape, and then he felt a bang on his head, and he fell to the ground. As he looked up, he saw the Queen and her entourage flying into the distance. They'd escaped. The hive would survive. There'd be more bees, but Bellamy blacked out. Bellamy hadn't minded what would happen to him, as long as the hive survived. And Christians, people who love Jesus, will do anything to proclaim Jesus to other people. Some have even prepared to die. Bellamy looked up. All was calm. There was a huge road where the tree once stood. Everything was still now. The machines had stopped for the night. Bellamy was alive. He stood up. And he could fly. He'd soon track down the rest of the hive and the rest of the bees. They'd survived. Phew, we like a happy ending. And that's the end of the bee story, like I said. But we'll be back with another series very soon. Bye.